playing a dangerous game with his family arms. You think I want Sophia Falcone knocking on my door? The thing goes Trust me, it's just the beginning. Welcome back to Trend Boss, the channel where we dive deep into the hottest trends in movies and TV. Today, we're talking about one of the most anticipated releases of the year, The Penguin, coming to Max on September 19, 2024. If you love The Batman and you're craving more of Gotham's gritty underworld, then this is the show for you. So, sit tight as we explore the dark, twisted world of Oswald Cobblepot, aka The Penguin. Come on. You can help me out. Life is just a dream. You promised me, Oswald. I know. But what makes The Penguin so exciting is the story itself. Picking up right after the events of The Batman, this series shows us a Gotham in chaos. The city's crime world is in flux, and Oswald sees this as his golden opportunity. No longer content with being just a mid-level gangster, he's ready to claim his place as the kingpin of Gotham. I deserve a better life. I'm working on it. Set up for the honest man to succeed. But it's not going to be easy. Gotham is a city of predators, and the power vacuum left by the fall of Carmen Falcone has everyone from corrupt politicians to vicious mobsters vying for control. And then there's Sophia Falcone, played by Kristen Milioti, Carmen's daughter, who has her own ambitions to restore her family's legacy. That should be the American dream right there. You know, beautiful story with a happy ending. First things first, let's talk about the man of the hour, Colin Farrell as Oswald Cobblepot. Colin Farrell delivered an unforgettable performance in The Batman, transforming into the ruthless yet strangely charismatic crime lord. With his prosthetic makeup and unrecognizable appearance, Farrell gave us a penguin who was both terrifying and captivating. And now, in this standalone series, we get to see him take center stage as he claws his way to the top of Gotham's criminal hierarchy. That ain't the way the world works. America's a hustle. Kristen Milioti is set to bring a fierce intensity to Sophia Falcone. She's not just the grieving daughter, she's a force to be reckoned with. Expect a lot of tension, betrayal, and power plays as these two crime titans clash in their bid for dominance. But Sophia isn't the only obstacle in Oswald's way. There's also Victor Aguilar, a new character played by Renzi Fellett. Victor is a young, ambitious enforcer looking to make a name for himself in Gotham's underworld. He's cunning, unpredictable, and he's got his sights set on taking down anyone who gets in his way, including the Penguin. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Penguin, you waltzing in here like you mean something. We're in the middle of a gang war. Now, let's talk about the tone of this series. If you're expecting something lighthearted, think again. The Penguin is crime drama at its darkest. Think The Sopranos meets Gotham. It's a deep dive into the criminal psyche, exploring themes of power, loyalty, and corruption. The fantasy elements are still there, but they're grounded in the gritty reality of Gotham streets. Buckles dead. If we don't protect what's ours, we just look weak. The streets are talking again. You know there's only one man big enough to run this city. The cinematography is expected to be top-notch, continuing the dark, atmospheric style that made the Batman so visually striking. Gotham will feel like a character in itself oppressive, moody, and full of hidden dangers. And let's not forget the score. If the music in the Batman gave you chills, then brace yourself for more hauntingly beautiful compositions that perfectly capture the eerie vibe of Gotham. Ah, uh, do you remember Carmine's door? Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sophia, I thought you were still at a... So, what can we expect from the Penguin? Well, for starters, a lot of twists and turns. This is Gotham, after all a city where trust is scarce and alliances are fleeting. Oswald Cobblepot is a master manipulator and watching him navigate the treacherous waters of Gotham's criminal underworld is going to be a wild ride. The character development is expected to be rich, with each episode peeling back layers of Oswald's psyche, showing us what makes him tick and how far he's willing to go to get what he wants. This city is meant to be yours, sweetheart. 
What are you gonna do to get it? Trust me. It's just the beginning. But it's not just about Oswald. The supporting cast is packed with complex, morally ambiguous characters, each with their own motivations and backstories. We'll see old faces from the Batman universe, but also new ones that will challenge and complicate Oswald's rise to power. Hey! Feel alive, Vic, huh? <laughs> Feel your heart beating? And let's not forget the action. The Penguin is going to deliver some intense, brutal scenes. From gritty hand-to-hand -hand combat to high-stakes shootouts, the stakes are higher than ever. But what really sets this series apart is its psychological depth. This isn't just about who's the toughest, it's about who can outsmart, outmaneuver, and outlast the competition. Whoever controls the drug business controls the streets. I'll be running the whole damn trade. I got ambition. I can help you. Overall, the Penguin is shaping up to be a must-watch for any fan of crime dramas, especially those who love a good anti-hero. It's dark, it's gritty, and it's full of the kind of complex characters and twisted plots that will keep you hooked from start to finish. Whether you're here for the action, the drama, or just to see Colin Farrell continue to crush it as Oswald Cobblepot, this series is not to be missed. So mark your calendars for September 19, 2024, because The Penguin is coming to max, and it's going to be epic. The tingles, grrr, ba, ba, ka, 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 